Hello everyone, this is IC Star from IC Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth video of the series how to make a CSGO frag movie. So in this video we are going to record some cinematics. To record cinematics there are two ways. The first one is the easier way but it is not that much accurate. And the second one is a little bit harder but uh, will give you more accurate results. So in this video we are going to learn about the first method and in the upcoming video I will uh, let you know about the second method. So let's start up by loading our demo. So we are in the demo now. Let's uh, search up for simple first. Here it is. Now let's uh, skip to the seventh round first. Pause. Now let's pause the demo. So we are going to record Simple's player model approaching CT uh, before is 1v4 clutch and we are going to use the method 1 for that. But first let uh, uh, exec our movie making config. So open up your console, type exec and then movie making config. Along with that we are also going to exec the cinematic config because uh, obviously we are going to record cinematic. And then I am going to change up the sky. Actually I forgot to tell you something in the last video that uh, if you are going to use the default sky you do not need to enter these commands, this set of commands until the sv underscore sky name. You can skip all of this if you are using default sky. And you can also skip uh, this POV commands if you are just recording the cinematics. So we are going to only use uh, this commands, uh, but I am going to change the sky first. So that will be a quick time lapse. So I am done with changing the sky. Uh, while executing our cinematic CFG, we executed uh, this uh, 5 commands in that CFG, so we don't need to execute it now. So let's come back to our demo. Now let's uh, start the demo and uh, skip some time by skipping deaths. So we are at the timestamp of 36 seconds right now. And uh, we will start our cinematic uh, from once the bomb has been planted. So to record cinematic by method 1, first you need to uh, get into free look. So we are in the POV right now. Then this is the player model look and this is the free look. You can switch between the different looks by using spacebar. So first we are in this uh, free look. We are going to use the letter T to play and pause the demo. So if you see that uh, we use uh, the free look in 100% speed, it is a little bit uh, harder to control. So we are going to, uh, you know, slow up the demo speed to 25%. And now we are ready to record a camp path. A uh, camp path is something uh, I would call a trajectory of a camera that uh, we would set. And the campus has a different uh, points in it and we at least need three points uh, to make a successful campus otherwise it won't play so a point in a campus is that uh, telling csgo that uh, at the timestamp of 29 seconds my camera is going to be in uh, looking at uh, this frame this particular frame and then after some time we are going to move our camera to a different frame so for example at 28 seconds I want my frame to be something like this. So we are going to add at least uh, 3 of these points uh, to make a successful camp path and you can add a point by pressing the letter N. Remember the letter N ok. Uh, and I am going to show you a command to zoom in and zoom out uh, uh, in this look. So the command is FOV underscore tv underscore debug by default the value is set to 0 but you can uh, increase and decrease it according to your liking so if I make it 10 it is going to zoom uh, into the player model 
and uh, if i make uh, 100 and then uh, this is the look is going to be something like this so i think uh, around 60 would be good so we are going to make a cam patch now so one pause the demo and then uh, get closer to the frame that you want and then press the letter n so i just hit the n letter and then let the time pass a little bit and then uh, uh, select your frame and then press n and then press n again so you have to keep moving with the player model that's why uh, this is not that much accurate because you really don't get time to adjust uh, according to your player model so let us end again let us end again so i'm just moving with the player model and uh, i keep hitting the letter n uh, as i like the frame right now the demo is lagging a little bit but that's okay so that's it i want the campaign to be ended when the simple hits his first shot so to see the camp as we are going to reset the round and then i'm going to skip to the next death so we are the time step of 38 seconds so just play the demo I'm going to play at uh, 25% of the speed so you can have a better idea of a cinematic how cinematic will look So make sure that you are in the free look mode otherwise if you are in the POV it will uh, show only the hands of your player model not the player model itself and that will look weird if uh, only hands are only the gun so make sure that you are in the free look then i'm going to unpause the demo and i i'm not doing anything right now uh, we are seeing our camp path right now so this is how it looks Okay now I'm going to give you commands that you will need to enter before recording the view the cinematic sorry now reset the round again and then uh, make sure that we are on simple so resume skip to the next death so we know that uh, our view our cinematic is going to start soon so uh, you first input this command cl draw hd 0 that is going to remove all the hud except your crosshair and view model then uh, the, uh, input this x-ray command this puts time scale command and then the demo time scale command and uh, make sure you are in the free look so our cinematic is going to start soon I am pressing space to show you that how it will look uh, if the POV is on. So that's how it will look if uh, the sniper is scoped in, and if uh, sniper is scoped out, it is going to look uh, a bit weird.
so just don't press anything right now uh, this uh, the cinematic is uh, uh, being getting recorded so this is it our cinematic now you can uh, add this command to reset everything throw h d to 1 demo time scale to 1 and the host time scale to 1 okay so that's how we record our cinematic so now i'm going to give you a quick recap on how to record a cinematic using our method 1 So first load up your demo exec your uh, movie making and cinematic cfg and then change up the sky if you want to and uh, then go to the round that you want to record your cinematic from make sure you are on your specific player and then uh, we are going to use uh, some commands and then uh, go to a free look so once you have reached the round you go to your specific player and then uh, you move to the time stamp that you want to record your cinematic from and then get into the free look we are going to use letter t to play and pause the demo the letter n to input a camera and the command fov cs debug to zoom in and zoom out our camera so you go on time stamp for example 30 second and then you choose a frame and then press the letter n to set up a camera then you go to the next time stamp for example uh, 28 seconds then you choose a frame and set up uh, the camera by pressing letter n and then you have to do it again for at least 3 uh, times uh, to make a successful cam path uh, you want uh, you can add as much uh, as cameras that you want and then you keep moving with the player model or the cam path that you have in your mind and uh, keep adding uh, points by pressing the letter n and uh, so once you are done with adding the points you reload the round and then uh, go to the time stamp that you know that the cinematic is going to start and before that we are going to add some commands uh, the command is the cl underscore draw hud 0 which is going to turn off all the hud the next one is the x-ray command and the other two are the commands for the time scale so uh, once executed all the commands you are ready to record your cinematic so i guess that's it for the video in the next video we are going to learn how to record the cinematic by using our method 2 which is a mirv camera uh, this method uh, will give us more accurate cam paths and have a better control on our camera points so it will be a little bit uh, tough to learn but is going to give you better results than the method one so i will see you in the next video